In this video I made every single Clash of Clans Town Hall realistic. Last time I made a Clash of Clans animation, you guys went kinda crazy. It even got featured on the official Supercell pages. Thank you guys so much for the support. And there were so many comments from people that wanted me to create another animation. So yeah, why not? This is how I made every single Clash of Clans Town Hall realistic. And I only had 5 days to do it. Every time I begin a new project, I start by gathering reference material. Having good reference images is crucial in order to avoid mistakes. Hey, whoa, 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 back it up, back it up. What is, what is this material. gold? Square coins? Blasphemy. That's not it. That's builder base gold. You messed up. You messed up. Everything. It, it, all credibility lost. I promise that won't happen again. I used PureF to create a reference board and then I jumped into my 3D software of choice, Blender. First, I imported a human model to help me with the scale of the scene. Town Hall 1 is really simple. I just use a few cubes and a mirror modifier to model the frame of the building. Then I made the walls, the window, the door frame and the roof. Town Hall 2 is basically the same model, I just had to make a new roof. Town Hall 3 has a second roof on top of the roof. The next one has yet another roof. <laughs> Town Hall 5 and 6 look identical to me. And number 7 has a small tower, number 8 has a bigger tower, and town hall number 9 has a small tower hanging from a big tower. Alright, I think you get it. I added some more details and made a flag using geometry nodes. On day 2 I modeled town hall 10 and 11. I'd love to talk about all the details, but that would take hours. Just to give you a sense of time, it took me about 17 hours to get to this point. But I still had the four most difficult buildings ahead of me. So I modeled Town Hall 12, which took longer than I expected because I couldn't reuse as many parts as before. Then number 13 and 14. I'd say Town Hall 14 is my favorite one. Well, not yet, but the realistic water turned out so beautiful. And then finally I made Town Hall 15. I'm not gonna show you yet, I mean I don't want to spoil the result for you. On day 3 I applied all the 120 individual materials and I UV unwrapped them. UV unwrapping means telling the computer how to project a 2D texture onto a 3D model. Speaking of textures, let's make the textures. For texturing I usually use Substance Painter. It's probably the most satisfying software there is. I imported the models and started texturing. The materials from the library never really look how I want them to, so I always adjust them. Mixing two or more different materials is is often the best way to get what you want. Well and then I just applied materials to all of the texture sets. The first 8 buildings are mostly made from stone and wood. Town Hall 9 and 10 start getting a little bit more interesting. I used a dirt brush to paint some weathering. The texture process is always super satisfying and rewarding because everything starts to look nice really quickly. Back in Blender I applied all the 400 textures to the buildings. That's 4 textures per material, because you not only need a color map, but also a roughness, bump and sometimes a metallic map. For the electricity ring on Town Hall 12, I used a displace modifier on a donut and gave it a glowing material. Now I still had to make a whole environment and an animation with less than 2 days left. So I added a ground plane into the scene and gave it a dirt material and grew some grass. I had to keep the grass amount low to avoid lag, but it'll look way denser in the render. I used a 360 high dynamic range image to get the most realistic lighting and I rotated it so you don't see people standing in the background. Then I planted some trees in the distance just like in the game. On day 5 I made the camera animation, planted a few bushes and optimized the scene as much as possible. Still, the render took 72 hours for 2800 frames. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out. Enjoy the animation!
Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to download the town hall models, you should definitely join the Patreon. And I'll also upload some wallpapers to the $1 tier.